Now, it's not a long story, but I know for a fact it's a true story, right? And this story, I'm gonna help, it's going to help you with two things, but I'll tell you at the end what it helps you with, right? Now, this story happened many years ago. Not many, 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 but many years ago. I was probably about two years old, or probably I wasn't born. But it happened to a friend of mine and his older brother. Now, they were, they're my friends, but they're older than me. So they were born, you know, a couple of years ahead of me. So that's why I was probably a baby at this time. Now, what happened, this being Friends and Family Sunday, I wanted to share a story that happened with family. And the story goes like this. He had a big family. Now, their family had about somewhere between 8, 10 kids, I lost count. They're my good friends, but sometimes I don't remember how many of them they are. <laughs> but it was a big family. And so, it was in the summertime, and you know what happens in the summertime. You know, the kids are off from school, but mom and daddy still has to what? Work. Unless they're teachers, they ain't off from work. So, what happened was, their parents still had to go to work. And so, their mom told them, all the children must stay in the yard and play. Nobody is to leave. And they're like, okay, mom, we hear you. Dad went off to work. Mom went off to work. By the time it got into the midday or in the afternoon, one of the older ones, not the oldest, but one of the older ones said, hey, I'm going on the road. I'm going to meet up with my friends. And one of the younger ones said, no, no, you're not going anywhere. Mom said, nobody is to leave the yard. We're supposed to stay here and play. He's like, yeah, that's for you. You're a little kid. <laughs> Me, I'm much older. I'm going to meet up with my friends. So that little younger one says, no, don't go. And he says, I'm still going. Yeah. But you know what happened? He left the yard. And soon he met his friends, you know, in a place, and they kind of went, now it's in a country area. <laughs> so they kind of went into the bush and they were heading for the river, right? So when they were walking, they heard something back in their footsteps and they turned around and look. Guess who it was? The younger brother had snuck out and followed his older brother. And so he was like, I can't turn back now. So he says, come on. And so he took him with him, and they were all heading to the river. And so they're walking, and everything is going okay. Now, there was a problem with the younger brother. He had an allergic reaction to bees. Couldn't get a bee sting, because if he got too many of them, then kaput. <laughs> That's it. So they were in the bush, and they were there, and they were picking fruits off the trees, because that's how country life is back in my country. And they're picking fruits off the trees, still heading to the river. And he saw this nice, beautiful tree with this fruit on it. Don't know what type of fruit it was, but he went to pick it. But there was a big branch in the way with some leaves on it. And so he moved the leaf back to reach for the fruit. There comes one little bee. Whap! <laughs> right in his face. And he says, ouch! And his brother said, what is it? He said, a bee stung me. By the time he said, a bee stung me, the entire hive was on him. <laughs> and stinging him, biting him from head to foot all over. And he fell right there on the ground. He's like, oh no! My brother is going to die. His friend said, what are you talking about? It's just some bees. They're like, he's allergic to bees. The friend said, what are we going to do? Now, some friends ran. They were so scared, they ran left him. Some of the other friends said, what are we going to do? We're miles away from the hospital. The bigger brother said, help him to put him on my back. And so they took him and put him on his back, and he held his arms like this. And that boy ran with his brother for miles until he got to the hospital and he was saved. True story, he's still alive because he lives in Maryland and now I go see him all the time. <laughs> and he always reminds me of the story when his brother put him on his back and ran with him to the hospital. Two 
things I want you to learn from this story. One, children, obey your parents. Don't be disobedient because parents knows what's best most of the time. <laughs> Obey your parents. There's a verse in Colossians. That's a book in the Bible. Colossians 3 verse 20. It says, children, obey your parents in all things, for this is pleasing to God. Obey your parents. They know what's best for you. Second thing I want you to learn from this is, family must always take care of family. No matter the situation. Now, and some of you have brothers and sisters, younger brothers, older sisters, and whatever, and you're like, I can't get along with him, or I can't take him, or this and that. Always remember, you guys are family, and family comes first. So always look out for each other. Always remember that. And that's children's time for today.